Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Hooker back at you with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. Today we're going to be doing a 500,000 coin pro fantasy pack opening. So we're going to be opening up about 33, 34 packs. Uh, see if we can get a bunch of, you know, some orange reduxes, maybe some nice Ultimate Legends. Maybe we can get a coveted 99 overall card. That'd be awesome. But we're just going to test these packs. I know the packs have been pretty good, especially when you do a big opening. So we're going to rip into those and see if they are any good for us today. Um, and while before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, please do consider hitting that sub button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. When we hit 2,000, we will do a nice giveaway. Also, smash that like button, comment down below, hit the Noti bell. Uh, comment down below, Noti gang, if you are on the Noti gang. I really do like that. Um, but with that being said, we're going to just go ahead and rip into these packs. Hopefully we pull some absolute heat today. Uh, these packs for me have been pretty decent. Um, and then all these cards you can like put in the sets and stuff to try to capitalize all your coins. You do get an elite in the first round. We'll take that. Final round. Sometimes you get some really, really solid cards. And sometimes you just get cheese. Uh, like we get 80 overall as our best pull there. So not great. But all these cards do go into sets. We can do stuff with them. And we're going to just keep ripping here. Hopefully we... Like the other day I pulled I think like two or three full Ultimate Legends out of these packs. So you can definitely pull some fire. Uh, we did pull 99 uh, Drew Brees Series Redux out of one of these packs. I wasn't recording or anything. But that was like my best pull obviously. You can't really get better than a 99. I, mean, I know Drew Brees is the most expensive card out there. But it was still a solid pull and I was definitely, definitely okay with that. So... All these cards, I mean, it's 15,000 coins, so it's not like the craziest, most expensive pack. And there's so much you can do with these cards to just, you can exchange your silvers and golds up to elites, or you can go into the 50 sets. There's a lot you can do, and then there's, there, there, you can just, you, you can really try to turn this in as much profit as possible. That's what we'll be doing off camera afterwards. If you want to see, like, I could put a video together of what I do with all these kind of cards if you guys want to see, but I know other YouTubers kind of go over what they do and the sets are generally pretty similar you just look to see which ones are profitable at this point in time a lot of times you want to go back in the archive and look at old sets um which is what i do i kind of look to see how much a set costs and maybe the cards going for a little bit more we get a mutt hero there 91 you can't can't complain about a 91 overall pull out of one of these packs you definitely right there plus what you get with, out of those cards you definitely make a profit there sold the card we'll take that Always want to sell cards. Uh, always got 20 cards up on the block at all times. Uh, especially during peak Madden hours. Which I typically try to do around like 10, 30, 11 through like 8 o'clock at night. That's when I feel like the most people are playing. Um, and then there's, you know, people in different time zones because I'm Eastern Standard. So it changes. We get lights here though. Can we get a full legend? 94 Eric Weddle. We are perfectly fine getting a 94 overall pull there. Uh, definitely makes that pack a little bit of a profit. Um, any profit is a good profit. Um, that that's that's how that's how we roll. So let's keep going here. Can we pull some fire? Let's see. And we did get heavyweights today, but I wasn't too into. We got two elites in the first round there. We'll take that. I wasn't too into the the heavyweights and they're just like ninety six overalls. While we've gotten, we just got like over the past what week and a half, like forty new ninety nines. So. They could have upped the game a little bit, make them, at least make them like 97s because you can power them up to 98s and then, you know, on theme teams, you can easily get that up to a 99. I mean, you can get a 97 up to a 99, just not quite as easily. If we could have gotten some cards that we could have, could have made some gold 99s, that'd be pretty sweet. I don't know how much longer they're going to be doing like heavyweights and all that. I would imagine they're probably close to the end of that, which, I mean... It's all. It's the end of April, so we expect expect the content to start to sort of slow down. But I've noticed that the content. I mean, at least this week. I don't know if it's because MLB the Show came out, so EA is trying to uh, compete and be like, hey, we're still relevant with Madden. Uh, spend your money here versus at MLB the Show. I don't know. Um, but competition always makes for better content for us, which is great. And me and one of you guys were talking about that. I believe yesterday that we think that it could be because MLB The Show just came out. So, that's fine. <laughs> and let's see. And I've never played MLB The Show. I was thinking about buying it. If I were to buy MLB The Show, I'm, I would... I know they have, like, their own version of Ultimate Team and stuff. 
Uh, would you guys want to see like some MLB the Show videos? I've never played it before. I would not. I would be no money spent in MLB the Show. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, I could throw some videos together. But I still, this is a Madden YouTube channel. Like I don't want to steer away from that just because there's a more exciting game or a new game that came out. But if that's something you guys want to see, comment that down below, and I could definitely throw together some MLB. Uh, videos. Uh, I was definitely. Thinking, I'm still probably gonna buy the game and play it just to, you know, just to see because we've been playing Madden pretty, pretty regularly. Get get a little something different. We get a grid here. 87 Russ Wilson, letting Russ cook. We'll take that for sure. Okay, any more fire pulls? We haven't gotten a Redux or anything yet, but we're still. We should be just over one million coins when we're done. I think like one million and like nine coins or so. We started at. Um, just around 1.5. I did that just so I knew when to gauge it, and then I got all these cards I gotta sell. So I was like, oh, let's let's, let's pump the brakes a little bit so we know. Oh, we get two back to back, three, three elites in the first round. We'll take that for sure. We get a base elite here, Anthony Sherman, and 86 Dion. We'll take the 86 Dion. It would have been nice if we could have gotten, you know, like a 96 Dion. But lots of elites in that pack. We are all about that that was a definitely a pack where you're not getting like one huge banner pull but you definitely got enough pulls to where you're definitely spending a profit which that's that's what you want if, if you're if like these the bad packs you're getting at least something out of it and then get your good packs where you're making like double you're gonna at the end of the day profit on on coins and on packs which is all we're here to do we want to make a profit with all these pack openings uh, typically, like when I'm doing a pack opening, if I get if I can get three quarters of what I spent back, or or like right around there, maybe even half of what I spent back, I consider that a dub. We get two frozen players there. We do get a Super Bowl card. Can we get something good? 94 Sammy Watkins. There we go. Sammy Watkins had a power up. Might add him to the Ravens theme team just because he's a new Raven. But still, 94 overall pull. 100%. You just you just spun a profit on that pack for sure. Uh, but we, we keep going and I know I know yesterday I didn't pin this comment uh, because I was wrong on yesterday's video I did say that we should be getting uh, golden tickets this week I do believe golden tickets are not going to be until next week we had a decent first round second round not so much like I might be able to sell one of those powers for a little bit more than Juju but I got sets I can use Juju for so that's why I opted to take him um, where I can get a card possibly for a lot more coins than Maybe the two or three thousand coins I would have gotten from one of those power ups. Uh, let's see here though. Starting off next pack, we got. I've got an eighty five uh, campus hero. We'll take it, but second round was kind of booty cheeks. We don't want the booty cheeks packs, and we want to get some more big pulls. Like what was that ninety four? We got two ninety four pulls ready. We got Sammy Watkins, and we got that ninety four Eric Weddle. I think those are our two best pulls so far. But let's see if we can get something some cheese here. I know we got like two 87 Russes, which aren't going for a crazy amount, but we got two of them, and it's not a card you see every pack opening, uh, so we're cool with grids too, and some of these packs are kind of getting to the to the level of what we would call booty cheeks, <laughs> um, but then you get your packs where you make like triple, quadruple your your coins, and then it's just, like it, pay, it pays for three or four packs, so we're okay. Like there we go. We got two first round elites. We get a set. We do get a second round elite too. Eighty three Steve Atwater. So we'll take it. And cards go into sets where we can easily quadruple our profit, if not more. So we we good with that. We good with that. And let's see next round. And we're a little bit more than halfway done these. So I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. It might end up being a slightly longer video. Uh, I don't think that this is a video where I would like skip through it. I might like cut out a couple of the really bad first rounds or something like that. But I'm not going to like do the skip through like I do on uh, trading varieties. Just because you trading varieties, you're opening such a big bulk. We're here, we're opening 33 packs. So it's not going to be as bad. But I will. I might skip out some of the first rounds or something like that. If these packs end up being absolutely atrocious if we get some like that one was a bad pack um but i don't want to just skip around and be like oh these pa if, if we get a couple really good banger pulls here at the the second half of these if i'm like oh these were these packs were great but just skipping around i don't like doing that i like to show you everything even if it ends up being a slightly longer video for you guys um you can always skip around and i'll let you know 
usually in the thumbnail or the title if I got like a crazy pull. So if that's all you're here for, you know you can kind of skip around for it. Because I know you, I don't want to waste your time. But also, I want to show you guys that these packs are cheap and you can actually pretty much spin a profit almost consistently out of these. Like that last pack, we got several 85s. We, 82 Steve Hutch, which, like, oh, who cares about an 82 um, the 50 card? But if you get a bunch of those, you get a 91 here. You can, I think you can get, what, 32, 82 overalls. Uh, and you're getting Julio, which... Julio's expensive. He's, I mean, he's going down now that he's been out for a few weeks, but it's still more of an expensive set to do. And then that causes the cards to be a little bit more expensive. So there's several things you can do with 50 cards. I like pulling 50 cards. Ooh, we get a 91 uh, full team of the week hero there. But we got 91s in back to back packs, I believe. And then we got three first round elites. So very solid there. Definitely. Definitely okay. If we get packs like that every time, that's fine. It's not like super exciting. They're not like bangers, but they're still they're still good because you're making making tons of coins back, and that's what we're here for. We're here to make our coins. Uh, let's see here. We're getting 83. That's fine. 83 is going to sets. Uh, we're a little bit quicker to make, so that's fine. Get some team uh, team builders, team standouts, stuff like that. Well, standouts, you use your team of the week cards, builders. I like to use my like legend cards and stuff. But then there's other sets too that I look I look at different sets every day because there's some sets. Oh, getting 87 in the first round. I freaked out for a second. I thought it was a 97, and I was like, oh, thought it was a little bit better of a pull than it actually was. Uh, so there's a little bit of a hesitation there on my end, but we'll keep going. But yeah, I am, I'm always looking at old sets, especially when you get like a new card comes out and you're like, oh wait, that there was like a set that can make this, like a card that goes into his power up. Typically that causes that card's power up, or the, the cards that go into the power up to be a little bit more expensive. Like, like it, right when, like say Ed Reed and uh, Megatron dropped, if you were to like have had their 50 cards or you were able to quickly make their 50 cards, you were able to spin that for a nice little profit. It's usually the first couple hours you usually want to, you know, like uh, some bigger YouTubers say, you want to really sell off hype. Uh, so as soon as like that card's announced or in the game and it goes into the power ups, people are like, oh shoot, that card's insane. I want to make it. And they'll just, they'll just quickly just buy the card. They don't really care how much it costs if it's going to help them win some games. So that's when you can really uh, spin a profit, like towards the beginning of the year before, you know, power ups had no value. I would hang on to power ups and whenever they would announce a card, if I had that power up or a set card for them, I was just straight up on the companion app no matter where I was, just throwing that up there and selling it for insane profits. Like you would sell a power up that was going for 5k for like 50k. Maybe not quite that big of a, a, a jump, but you guys get what I'm saying. And we're down to our final, what, like four or five packs here. So video didn't quite end as long as I was thinking. I thought it was going to be like an 18 to 20 minute long video. It's like we're going to. Settle in around 15 minutes or so, so still a little bit longer, but not like crazy. But we haven't gotten any like insane pulls, which stinks, man. We got some 94s, but I don't think we got anything better than that. Um, we still got, I think, four more packs to go. So hopefully we can end this strong with something crazy. Like just like a 99 overall pull would be awesome, but I'm not expecting that. But Aus Series Redux, uh, an orange. I got one orange Redux since the new series. And it has not been on camera, so if we could, if we could actually make that happen, that'd be insane. Um, but beggars can't be choosers. You can't force your packs to be good, and that's why I do this because you know you see some people post videos like, "Oh, these packs always fire. These are the best packs to open," but they're not. They're not always. So I like to just be real with you and show you guys what the packs actually look like in a more, more bulk scheme of things. And even if you're taking an L off the rips of the packs. There's still stuff you can do with all those cards to, to try to get some coins. You could try to sell everything individually, but you can also, there's like some riskier sets and stuff like that. So always look into those because you're not always necessarily taking an L just because it appears that the pack's an L. And I know I was quick selling all the golds and stuff I was getting out of these packs for a while there. We got a 90 overall pull there. We'll take it. And then I was just like, I think I can do stuff with these golds. And I started looking into sets, and there's definitely some sets you can profit on. Um, like Team of the Week, Team Standout, and stuff like that. Even Team Builders are starting to go down in value a little bit. But don't sleep on it, because eventually 
people are going to like forget about the sets because they're they're going down because so many people are making those cards which obviously that means that the supply is high the demand isn't as high which means the cost is going to go low but then once people are like oh i'm not making triple my investment i'm going to stop making this now and then they just the, the the supply goes down but there's still a demand for the cards you know it's just basic supply and demand but that's when the sets start to be more profitable because you are one of the only people making them and you're able to sell it for a little bit higher because there's not as many out there. But really, if you can turn like 30 golds into some elites and then turn those elites into sets and you're able to at least break even, if not, maybe, maybe make, if you if you can walk out of it making a couple extra thousand coins than you would have initially had. And this is our last pack, by the way. I wasn't even noticing that. And those packs overall were not great, but we're going to be able to do a lot with these cards, which is what I'm here for. But we're going to walk this off, see if we can just do something great. We're going to open up one clutch pack, which we hate, just to see if we can walk it off with something crazy. Not expecting it out of a clutch pack. Clutches are not my friend, uh, but let's see here. 92 Jonathan Vilma. There we go. Full campus hero. But anyways, guys, that was our 500,000 coin opening on the Pro Fantasy Packs. They weren't crazy, but they were okay. We definitely, I'm fine with it because we definitely made coins and we will we'll have a lot of fodder for sets and we'll be able to make uh, some more coins off of that as well. So anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate you all. I love you guys and I will see you all real soon.